Hello, <clears throat> welcome to this video of my trombone journal. I am in Germany and as you can see I'm outside and actually I'm going to show you a bit around because it's quite beautiful here. So I'm standing in the middle of a field and there's a small village close to where I am and yeah and I'm using a tree as a stand for my phone and microphone so I was playing here before and then I went to town and had some food and then I came back and when I was doing my warm-up this morning then I started to think about articulation and especially articulation in long tones so this video will be about long tones if you are a serious brass player you have probably played a lot of long tones during your days and uh, now I'm just going to share some thoughts I have on that subject for me when I was practicing long tones and I was younger it was not very rewarding in any sense I thought it was completely boring and useless and now as I'm older I understand why it was because it was presented in a very boring way it was quite sterile it was just supposed to be long <laughs> I find it completely boring and completely useless because there's no direction, there's no articulation. So, and is there articulation in long tones? And I would say yes, there is, there has to be. Because here I'm going to show you something. So, can you see the power line behind me? Yeah, you should be able to see it. There's a power line behind me, going from some place to another place. And it's a very long line, and it has to be kept up by these, what do you call it, pillars, these poles. That have to keep the power line up. And if one of them goes away, then the line will fall. And that's what we need when we play long tones. We need these pillars or pulsation or articulation to be present in our long tones. Because if not, it's not musical. And we, it's, it will be difficult to find ourselves within that note. So there's always a context. So let's say a long tone of four beats if this is the beat and then we have to be aware that there's articulation in those four beats ping gong ping gong so there are these rules natural rules that are governed that is the long they have to fit into this this world so let's try to so the tone has to be a beginning, middle and an ending. It has to be a whole universe in itself. It cannot be just flat. It has to live, it has to pulsate. It has to breathe. So 
I would recommend that you would start playing long tones very short. Maybe just one beat. And see how this one beat articulates. Yeah. And it's very nice to visualize a circle. What one type? Three. So it breathes, it opens up and closes. It opens and closes. So two beats, the same process goes, just on a longer time scale. So you can imagine a bigger circle, but with a pulsation. Downbeat and upbeat. One, two, hmm. So, what I have to do in order to make a credible half note, I have to transmit something completely different. There has to be a longer overview, already present in the beginning. So it's not the same. One beat, you can't just replicate it, and then you have two beats. No, it's something... Yeah, it's it uh, evolves. Let's see. Well, first one beat, and then two beats. Notice when this maybe it's too heavy, so one beat is too short for that note because the, the impact has the resolution of two beats. So bear in mind that it has to be musical, it has to relate to what is natural, really what is natural. So you, you can imagine the power lines. You can use that as a reference point for a long tone. So first, one beat. That's one pillar. Hmm. And then two beats, two pillars. You know, one, three beats. Four beats. So you have to feel the pulsation. It's really, it's so necessary. And I know that there are these people that are saying, no, it has to be where you should not feel the beat. No, it's, it's a lie. It's a, they are lying to themselves. Don't believe it. You always have to feel the pulsation. It has to be a part. You can't just float on top of it. It has to be there. You have to stay with both feet at the ground. You can't just fly. It has to be natural to feel the gravity of the pulsation. Five beats. And so, a long tone. Also, five beats. That's a long tone. It's a very long tone. Five beats. And that has to articulate. So, it has to articulate in a way where you have five. It's too big to be lived as one whole. So it has to be, you know, articulated in a way. And what is, for me, the most natural is to three plus two. Like a la breve. Where the first half is has more, is heavier than the second half. This side. So there's a bit of renewal of energy. 
the fourth bit. So if you would conduct it, it's pretty hard now because I'm quite high, but one, two, three, four, five. So you can see on the four there is a renewal of energy because it changes direction. And this is called the cross. A four, four, it's a cross. Articulates in a cross. Then you have heavy, go, heavy, go. And of course, that's a simplification. And the 5-4, if you articulate in a cross that goes with the natural order of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And if you go against, if you make it more, let's say, I would not, if it's a word in natural or unnatural, but if it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then it's, it's more of a dance. And now my phone kind of... <laughs> yeah. So, play around with the articulation of articulating a long tone within the world of uh, the metric. So if it's a 4-4, four four, if it's two bars of 4-4, four four, then it has to articulate. Let's try. I'm going to present with you two whole tones linked together whole notes linked together. It's eight beats. <laughs> But within each bar it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three. So you have this hierarchy of the first bar, which has it's more heavy, has more presence. The second bar is a consequence, a continuation. And within the first bar you have one and three. So the impact, resolution, the lighter impact and the resolution. And this we have to feel when we are playing long tones. And then of course, you know, if there's a music with us, if there's our chord changes or whatever, then that has to be transmitted as well. Let's find something. This pulsation, three bars of four four. 12 beats. A bit too long for the breath I took. I was almost there, but I was leaving it. Really, this, this unity that consisted of three bars of four four with the articulation so we have to find ourselves the connection with everything we do on the trombone it's just a yeah it's a natural thing so we have to go with nature to find a way to orientate where do I find myself? If every beat is the same, it will be chaos, be too much. So you have to go go away from this this nonsense of making every tone equal and the same, because it's not. There is a hierarchy in terms of rhythm, in terms of pitch, in terms of chords and harmony. So, go with it, observe, because I don't want anything, I just let it happen. And now I'm quoting Sergio Selvidek. So, my message to you is that you don't want anything, you just let it happen and evolve.
If you fall off the wagon, you fall off the wagon and it's fine. You just get your ass up and do it again. Good luck with everything that you want to do. Bye bye from Germany.